Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I am Burkel, and today I will be reviewing another LEGO custom build. This is my custom LEGO Batwing. This is a completely original uh, Batman vehicle that I created. Of course, the name isn't original, but this is my version of what I think a Batwing would look like in my own little Batman universe. And uh, this one is probably the biggest Lego model I've actually made, other than there is one, a uh, boat, medieval boat build that I made, that, but that uses the big boat, like, pieces, so I think using big pieces doesn't really count, and also it doesn't really have much of an interior to it, as at the end, uh, so technically this is my biggest build, uh, first of all, whenever I was building this, uh, I saw this, uh, Slave 1 window, because I was looking for windows, and I couldn't really find one. I found this, and I was like, ooh, that's perfect. So, I think that's really a perfect window for this. I It's probably the biggest window I have, so I guess that kind of is a perfect uh, fit for this vehicle. But I'm not going to get too much into this, because we're going to go through... I have three vehicles, and uh, I'll be going through uh, them moving uh, all the way up to the Batwing. So, the first one is this the bat pod so how this works is the batmobile flies by and it drops off the bat uh, pod now it's not like the bat pod in the dark knight but what it does is it pops off and you have a bat suit of course this is batman right now but it's supposed to be a bat suit so there's not supposed to be an actual person in there so that batman needs a uh, X spare suit or if he just isn't in his bat suit so he just needs so uh to get his bat suit quickly then the batwing can fly over, drop this off, and trans uh, then he has a bat suit really quickly. Uh, making a build that can actually fit a figure and also have details is pretty hard. So on the uh, little roof cockpit canopy thing, seems really dark to me. Oh, there it is. Uh, you can see right here, there's a little, uh, a little space because his cowl, his little nose and stuff, points out. Well, it uh, sticks out, so I had to make sure I can actually cover that up. Uh, so, also, like I said, fitting a Batman or just any figure in a small space is really hard. So, and also make it look good is really hard. So I used a bunch. Oops, just dropped a piece. Uh, I used a bunch of these little angled pieces so that I can attach details on the side. And, sorry, I'm trying to find that piece. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, but trying to add detail as well as, well, that's what it does. It, let, it, adds de it lets me add detail and also save room for minifigures. So, the next build, if we'll turn this around, is in the back. So, put down these doors and bam, Batmobile. So, Batmobile, Batpod, Batwing. I'll get over, I'll, uh... Like I said, get, uh, show more of the Batwing whenever I am done with the rest of the builds. Let's see, can I lower my camera? Yes, I can. Well, a little bit. Um, but this is my own version of the Batmobile. It has a lot of the Tim Burton's Batmobile. Uh, uh, just the design, a lot of it is similar to that. I actually, uh, uh, I actually recycled a few pieces, little parts that I had from my Batmobile that you see in the intro to my videos, a little Batmobile that drives by. Uh, so a lot of those, uh, like this little, a little smooth, uh, round pieces, and also this little piece right here, and the little fins, as well as this back piece, and the canopy as well. And what I like about making uh, vehicles like this is I want to make sure that a minifigure can actually fit in this. Because it's one thing that you can have it for looks, but it's another thing where you can actually uh, hold a minifigure in there. So, it, as you can see, I have a little bit of detail, a little control panel. I actually forgot to include a steering wheel, but I don't know. I think that's asking for a little too much of this build. You can see it has a little seat in the back. Also, I think it turned out. I think the lights turned out pretty good with the angles. That's pretty cool. I think it's very uh, uh, a uh, dynamic choice. So after I fit this Batman in there, there we go. So you can see that he fits in there. Now he does fit, but not exactly. You can see there's a little bit of a gap. It won't go all the way down because of the 
Batman's cowl because it's blocking it. So uh, I will try my best in the future to uh, fix it, but also keep the detail. So uh, let's see. Oh, you can also add a flame piece at the end of it. Take a look at it zooming off. I think that's really cool. Uh, thanks to this little two by two jumper piece. Sorry, I keep looking at my hand in front of the light. Uh, but the jumper piece uh, definitely helps because you're able to attach the. Uh, sorry. You're able to attach the little Technic exhaust thing. I don't know. I don't really know what the uh, Technic pieces are called. Uh, but then also add a flame piece. Um, but other than that, I just add some little bit of grieveling all over it. So, other than that, I believe that is the Batmobile. That was supposed to be a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, no. That is not all the Batmobile. There is also one other build. There is another. This. Oh, that almost fell over. Yeah, it's going to fall over. Uh, let me see. I need to raise my camera so you can see the whole thing. But yeah, this whole contraption is meant to pick up the Batmobile. Because when I built the Batmobile, I wanted something to pick it up. Because I love that you're able to, like, uh, whenever you want the Batmobile in Arkham Knight, like, it, the Batwing just, like, swoops by and just drops it off. Though, it literally just hangs off the bottom of the Batwing, so that's pretty hard to do. But these little things on the side, close it, and then you just lift it up. It's very simple. And then when, you don't, when you're going to drop it off, open these up. And he drops it off. Uh, so it's very simple, but I couldn't really find a way to turn it into the Batwing. Uh, so I went ahead and changed the whole idea into, oh, that was weird, uh, into this, the true Batwing. I'm thinking of making a smaller Batwing just for just uh, Batman to fly around. This is going to be like the Bat gunship or something. I don't know. It's crazy. It's got a big turret on the top with turrets that can angle up and down. Spin 360. Uh, also have wings with a little exhaust fan thing. Again, I don't, I don't really know my planes. I have a friend who does know his planes, but uh, I do not have him with me. So, uh, of course, since the quarantine, of course. Uh, but you have little angled wings. I don't know if that's really realistic at all. Uh, TJ, if you're out there, please tell me. I kind of want to know if I did this one good or not so uh, and then of course you have these little plates over here that open up and then you take out the cockpit and then you have Batman in there Let's see I might yeah I'm have to lower my camera again I'm raising it up and down my goodness so also this is probably the weak these are probably the weakest part of the build so other than that this is a very stable build as you can see, I have a simple Batman figure in there. You have the yellow seat because you can't have a Batman vehicle without at least without at least some yellow in it. There you go. I got a little control panel. So uh, and you can see all the way in the back because it goes all the way back except for right here and right here are some pieces that stop the Batmobile from. Uh, hitting Batman while he's flying. Whew, I keep dropping things. Oh, man. There. Whew, sorry. I am not that professional with this kind of stuff. Uh, there it is. Okay. So, hopefully, nothing else will fall. Um, so yeah, then we can just put the cockpit back on. Lock those place. Also, this little thing right here, I want to attach like some kind of weapon, uh, some form of weapon. Because that'd be pretty cool. Actually, a little rail piece could do good. That could be pretty good. Um, yeah, as you can see, you can also... Where'd my Batman go? Oh. oh, yeah, he's in the Batmobile. Duh. So, if I get my Batman out and stop being so terrible at making YouTube videos... There we go. Here, you Batman figure. And then you can fit him in there. So you have minifigures going there. So for the design of this, 
Okay, also you can just close it back up. But for the design of this, I uh, got the idea from the pelicans from Halo, which are vehicles, not the birds. Um, so from the pelicans, from the uh, Batwing from Arkham Knight for the idea of picking up the Batmobile, uh, and also, uh, let's see, I also got the idea from, let me see, what was it? Oh, the Flying Fox from Justice League movie. Um, and also, finally, I got the idea of some of the parts from the Batwing from the Lego Batman movie. Because I don't know why, but that, I just, of all the vehicles and stuff in the Lego Batman movie, that's just my favorite one. I think it just looks so cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is it for this. Oh, wait, no. I could also, if I take off the wing, can I get by one little piece? You could take off this little plate that covers the side, and you can see the little the uh, skeleton of the vehicle. You see, I'll open this up to let a little bit of light in. You know what? I will take both sides out. There we go. So you can see. Oh yeah, you got your Batman figure. Uh, so you can see the little skeleton, the uh, skeleton of the vehicle. Uh, when I was building this, I built the floor, and I was like, I gotta attach a roof on, so how am I gonna do that? So I found one of these pieces, uh, these little angled Technic pieces, and I was like, ooh, that will be perfect. I love the angle of it. And then, I will attach, I don't know if you can see it right there, that has studs on the top, Technic piece on the side, so it was perfect for that. He made it really easy to make a roof. Uh, but I could only find I could only find three of them, so I went searching through my Technic bin of all my Technic pieces. It took me probably almost an hour, and then I finally found it. And once I built it, I was like, "Oh, that design that, that looks really good." And I definitely think uh, the weight was worth it. So, ooh, yeah, a lot of the pieces of this are pretty fragile. There are quite a few pieces. Uh, the back of the vehicle is the least fragile, but the cockpit is very fragile because getting all the angles for it would be pretty was pretty hard. This is my first time. Let me see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my first time trying to successfully make a plane out of Lego, and I mean like big plane. So I think it turned out quite well for my first actual good plane uh, but other than that oh also totally forgot uh, you guys probably saw a glimpse of this but I am working on the Arkham tank this is the I finally found the name of it it's called the Diamondback tank from the uh, Arkham Knight game um, this is kinda what I got for it so far it looks pretty good uh, so if you search up Diamondback Tank from Arkham Knight, so like Arkham Knight, Diamondback Tank, uh, drone actually, drone tank, then it will show up with this. Uh, it should have one extra wheel, but I can only find uh, four of them, so I need to find two more for either side. So I thought either the co I keep the colors or I keep like the right pieces, so I chose colors over the right amount of pieces because I have gray ones that I could use but I feel like the red wheels look better so but of course this build is for another time so that's your little demo of it but other than that I believe that is it for this video well I hope you have all enjoyed this video um, it is taking me uh, almost maybe a week to make all these builds so um, I definitely appreciate it if you would subscribe click that notification bell so that you do not miss any more of my videos uh, make sure to click that like button if you enjoyed it uh, and like these builds and make sure to comment below uh, any suggestions for this build or if you have a suggestion of a build for me to make uh, so I will hopefully get you guys a video out soon uh, hope you all have a great time and stay safe uh, during this quarantine and I will see you all next time Bye.